Hello everybody, my name is Amar Ayar. I'm an application engineer at Maxim Integrated. In this video episode, we'll talk about the Max 16141, an ideal diet controller and a protection IC for automotive applications. Now, automotive systems nowadays not only have to be extremely reliable, but they also have to be strong electrically to survive uh, some of the harsh and uh, damaging transients that exist inside the uh, engine of an automotive. Uh, the ISO 7636 and 16750 provides a list of these uh, transients with specific conditions that the automotive system must be tested with. So it's critical to choose the right IC to uh, guard against some of these transients and do not allow them to damage some of the low voltage or sensitive components of your system. On this video, we'll show you how the MAC 16141 can be used to get you that immunity and protection. Uh, in particular, we'll look at the load down protection capability of this device uh, and how it can uh, respond to uh, transient, to load down transient of uh, up to 80 volts. So what I have in front of me is the uh, MAC 16141 evaluation board with all the necessary components for this demonstration. Uh, the input of this uh, board is connected directly to an amplifier that will provide me the load down transient of up to 80 volt peak. Now, once I trigger that uh, load down transient and allow it to reach the MAC 16141's input, uh, we'll monitor the response of this device using a four channel scope. In particular, we'll be looking at the uh, uh, transient itself, the input voltage, the gate voltage, and the output voltage of the MAC 16141. So let me go ahead and uh, start with a demonstration. So what I have on the scope is the input transient, which is uh, the yellow trace, and as you can see, it goes all the way up to 80 volts. And then the uh, blue trace is the input of the MAC 16141, the input voltage to the MAC 16141. As you can see, it follows the input transient uh, up to a certain point, and then it flattens out because I have a TVS uh, right at the input of the MAC 16141 that clamps the voltage up to 55 volt uh, or so. So let me show that. It's about 54 volt uh, of uh, clamping right there. But the uh, inherent protection of the MAC 16141 is up to 60 volts. So we are six volts below that. Now the next trace uh, that you see is the gate voltage over here. You can see it's, it's high. And then once the input voltage uh, goes high, it follows the input voltage. But then at some point it pulls low. That's because the input voltage hits the over voltage threshold uh, of the MAC 16141, which for this board, it's uh, about uh, uh, 32 volts. So it's right about, right about this point. Now, throughout this time, after, uh, the input, after the gate voltage pulls low, it stays low. That means that the load is completely isolated during this entire time that the uh, transient and the high voltage at the input of the MAC 16141 is present. And the, Output voltage, as you can see, the green trace is drooping because there is still some load on the output voltage. Now, once this transient is over, you can see that the gate is coming back to its original uh, nominal voltage right over here and allows the power to flow from the battery to the, to the load. The purpose of this demonstration was to show how the MAC 16141 can protect the load and itself against high voltage transients. This device is not only uh, designed for automotive applications, but is well suited for industrial applications as well. There's more interesting information on this device in the data sheet, and for that, you're gonna have to go to our website, www.maximintegrated.com slash MAC 16141. And thanks for watching.